in the studio with me, I have Kenny Reese of the DJ Night Train Show. How you doing, Kenny? Oh, I'm doing just fine. And yourself? I'm good. Awesome. I'm good. Awesome. Thank you for coming in and talking with me. Yes. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. So we're going to start right in with, how did you come up with that name? Well, I've been DJing for over uh, 25, 30 years, as per se, at the clubs and everything. And uh, I had a vehicle one time, and it was black on black in black, and I named it Night Train. And Ever since then, I started just using it as my DJ name. You consider yourself as a DJ then? Yes, I am. Okay. Um, and when you designed your show, what did you see? Well, my outline is to uh, have like blues and southern soul because there's no stations around here that carries that type of music. Mm-hmm. You have your rap station, your hip-hop stations, or R&B stations, but no blues and southern soul. And by experience of being a DJ... That's what I would play, and people would enjoy it. So I decided that bringing it to the radio would have a better side of listeners to yeah, be able yeah. to listen to it. How do you pick your music? A lot of times, believe it or not, artists send me music through the mail or through an MP3. And um, sent me I got in the mail today, eight different CDs. You are really connected then. And, I, and a lot of different artists and recording artists, they know me through my charts and everything. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. To be that connected. Yes. Uh, that's what sets you apart, or yes. would you say? Yes. Has your show um, evolved? Has it grown or has it changed from the initial plan? To me it has because mm-hmm. I started out wanting to display uh, blues, mm-hmm. and a lot of the artists that are sending me music, they are Southern Soul. Okay. And so instead of having a blues show, I had to cooperate and having a Southern Soul and blues and old school. Yes, I started off with an hour. And okay, and I had people asking your show last don't last too long, so right? Right, I'd like to get it. Can you get any more time on it? Right. So I said, Yes, that's cool. Who is your target audience? I have a target audience of a variety of people, nationalities. I have different people, uh, Caucasian, Afro American, uh, uh, guy to why he's Spanish and he listened to my station, and mm-hmm. it's a little <laughs> variety of everybody that that. that have that, you have you ta- tapped into the young folks? A few, a few, uh-huh, uh-huh. a few. A lot of a lot of them uh, grew up on that type of music from their parents, right. and they love hearing it, right. especially the old school blues that right. I be playing the Southern Soul. Bobby Blue Bland yes, and all yes, them. <laughs> yes. When I listen to this, it takes me back to when I was a a, a little girl, and I would hear my mom and my dad or aunts when their music would come mm-hmm. on they old mm-hmm. feelings from back yes, in the day yes it kind yeah, of brings yeah. back old memories right, and, right. and just think about the reminisce on the times that you used to share with your parents or yeah. or, or other watch people. them and laugh at them yes. i'm like what is they doing <laughs> and then come to find out you hear younger people singing that song doing the same thing you wonder right? how they know this uh, well, i used to listen to my mom and dad singing right, all the time. right. <laughs> we grew up on that music yeah because yes, yes, i yes. know some young people that when mm-hmm. they talk about i listen to the blues i'm like what you know about the blues yes. they love yes, that music yes, yes. so yeah that's mm-hmm. cool very cool. Mm-hmm. So emotions move people, and I may have already tapped into this. Mm-hmm. Emotions move people. Have you considered what emotion that you want to ignite? That good feeling of hearing some good old blues, yeah. and old good old Southern soul, and just just get down with it and just have a good time like right. you used to do back in the day. And yeah. And I, I guess I'm stuck on old school, and and um, that's and, when uh, the music was for real. That's though. for real music. That's, that's real, for real music. That's but right. But this is that's and for you notice you notice the music nowadays. It doesn't last long. You hear music playing, and before you know it, it's gone. You don't hear it no more. And then, but being a DJ, you have people out there dancing on this music one while, and then you go back six seven months later and try to play that same song. Everybody looking at you crazy. Like what is that? Yes, okay. that that, okay. that 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 music that's out today basically and um in old school music and Southern Soul and Blues, it seems like it never ends. Twenty years. Twenty years twenty like years. Like the from DJ now. Monorail. Yes, yes. You put the monorail on, yes. everybody gets <laughs> everybody yes, like, yes. Hey, Hey. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Ah, so I I enjoy listening to this. Mm-hmm. What does um, community radio mean to you? Community radio means to me is that uh, it's an opportunity to get out 
on different variety of um, topics, mm -hmm. different music playing, and it's not just one set on one set thing where you have a list you have to go by every day on the songs that you play on the radio. Right. Community radio, you can do what pretty much what you want to and say what you want to. Like you said, having the talk show if you want to, or you have uh, reggae or any type of music that is in your heart to desire to play or talk about. Right topics and uh i feel that's what community radio is to me so i want to give you the final thought i think you're doing an awesome job and putting this together <laughs> and uh you. and i really appreciate you uh taking your time out to interview me and it's always a pleasure seeing you and <laughs> and i really love having this radio station here because it really means a lot to me and uh, and our the founder of this radio station eric uh mm -hmm. he meant a lot to me because i've known him over 20 years wow from working at the TV station, I run the cameras and the uh, and the audio and everything down here t too. So, mm -hmm. you know, and that kind of took a toll on me. And like I said, been around him a long time. That was yeah. a dream to have this, and uh, you know, really want to do my hardest and best to help him fulfill his dream right. and keeping it going. And uh, while you're having fun, while you're having fun, you still go. having fun, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank yes. you, sir. Yes, sir. This is DJ Night Train. Yes. Okay.